Howdy folks, Max and Henry back again, and we're talking Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U, specifically the new Amiibos and how they function. Henry, give us give us like the quick rundown on how these these figurines work with the game. Well, this was my first ever time of getting hands on with the Amiibos. I've only seen them behind like glass at, right. at events, <laughs> but this was the first time we got to hands on with it. And they are really well made figures, but they're also like super sturdy as as one of the Nintendo people uh, mentioned to me last night. They said like, "Oh yeah, we've done like commercial shoots with kids on this and they like beat the crap out of these things and they're still good like so they're 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 made to w take a beating but still be still look good and okay. they and they definitely look like taken straight out of their smash brothers characters even mario is meant to look cool with his like fireball and stuff right, which right. is about as cool as mario ever will look <laughs> but i'm i'm also excited just from a toy perspective because you know there's tons of mario toys out there kirby pikachu mm -hmm. but like Marth or right. We Fit Trainer, like they they don't get toys. Like finally, somebody who's a fan of them can can just have these cool little figurines. So I, does that mean you're going to be buying two of each figurine? Do you have one that you open and one that you don't open? Uh, <laughs> I might have to do that with a couple of them. But uh, but so they're they're really cool. I'd say comparatively, like um, to to uh, Skylanders or Disney Infinity, mm -hmm. like. I'd say it's almost as good as the first round of Disney Infinity. The Disney Infinity, like, I, it was just slightly higher on on construction, I'd okay. say. But uh, they they all look really good. And they, then they also have like this uh, uh, game data storing feature. They're almost mm -hmm. like a memory card for Smash Brothers. Yeah. So they're an NFC figure. I I grabbed mine. It was Mario, of course. I mm -hmm. picked that one. So you you drop down your amiibo on the gamepad, right? And then it syncs up with it, and then it's like, okay. Hey, who's your Mario? Uh, like, who is your specific Mario? And I'm like, all right, out of the eight color schemes, I picked this one. And of course, the USA one, that's my easily my favorite Mario color of, of the ones in Team Smash, America. Anyway. Yeah, no, we know. And, uh, and then it's, uh, it's just like the other custom fighters in the game too like you you get special values that you can add to them you get right, specialized right all the equipment attacks. the boots and the capes and swords yeah and all that stuff and you can feed equipment to your character meaning that like you can improve their stats by consuming extra copies of equipment that you have that okay. are, aren't doing anything else but when you feed them they're gone like they're gone forever okay and then when you raise is that like a permanent stat bonus yeah it's it's think? a permanent bonus on the character too and so so i set up my figure character i, I believe that it was an fp they're called Great. fp and so to start leveling him up like i jumped into a smash match where smash he, match. he was a just a regular smash four player smash and it was he was a level one character mm -hmm. i was just like mm -hmm. And it felt weird to start playing against the guy I just made and be like, well, I got to make you tougher, so I'm going to beat you up, Mario. <laughs> and and he just slowly moved up like to level six after the first match. Mm -hmm. And and they were mentioning at the event, like, they, they, they're they AI, so they, they learn over time from playing and, like, how you play, too. They mentioned how they, they had seen, the Nintendo people had seen behind the scenes, like, somebody play with a in no items matches all the time and so when the ai version of their amiibo got into matches they almost never touched items because you never touch items when right. you play so they're not conditioned to do that yeah and same with like same with edge guarding same with like throws like they're 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 learning ais and uh i i didn't get to play around with it enough to start noticing how it uh, it learns from you mm -hmm. but it's kind of fun in, and a little creepy, I would say. Too. So then, but, do you ever, like, when do you get to play as your amiibo? Uh, that's when you get into those special custom matches with your friends. The amiibo is just more of an accessory for those custom matches, because you could make your own Mario in your friend's game and just have that be your figure character. Or you could just drop down your toy that you made in your own game and be like, oh, here's my Mario for our custom matches. Boom. And then your friend would go like, yeah, well, here's my Marth. Boom. Okay. And then, it saves you a couple of steps. Yeah, it saves you steps. And it's a neat way to share, but the Smash Brothers is by no means built around those toys like they are in Disney Infinity or Skyland. Right. So it's, it's a much lighter touch, but... For a, Nintendo's first real attempt at NFC, not counting the that Pokemon Rumble uh, <laughs> downloadable, like of course, the, it is. It's an impressive first step, I would say.
All right, folks, well, that's all we've got for the Amiibos, but for more updates on Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, be sure to head on over to GamesRadar.com.